In this video, we're going to look at naming and drawing alkanes. We're going to look at how to name our simplest hydrocarbons. And remember, hydrocarbons are organic compounds that just contain carbon and hydrogen. So our simplest hydrocarbons are alkanes. And alkanes um, have just carbon-carbon single bonds in them. So to name alkanes and um, and then this is also going to serve as a foundation for naming other hydrocarbons and other organic compounds as we go through um, this chapter and a few of the next chapters. Um, so this naming system is based off of these prefixes that are listed here that tell you how many carbons are present. Um, so the for one carbon being present, the prefix meth tells you tells you that it has one carbon. When you um, for number two, for two carbons, the prefix is eth, prop for three, but for four, and then once you get to five and beyond, you're using those Greek prefixes that should be somewhat familiar to you, pent being five, like a pentagon has five sides. So those prefixes should be fairly familiar with you or to you. Um, so let's just look at the very um, simplest alkane. And an alkane, remember, has all carbon carbon single bonds. The ending for the names of them are going to have an A and E ending to it. So that tells us that it is an alkane. So the simplest alkane would be methane, where meth tells us that it has one carbon, and the A and E ending tells us that it is an alkane. This is a hydrocarbon, one carbon, and hydrogen. Carbon makes four bonds, so it's going to bond to four hydrogens. So this is the simplest alkane, which is methane. This is the expanded structural formula that I wrote right there. Um, let's pick another one. Let's pick pentane to draw that. So pentane has five carbons, and then it's going to bond to hydrogens. Each of the end carbons here are bonding to one other carbon, so those will take three hydrogens. These middle carbons are already bonding to two other carbons, one on each side, so they will bond to an to two hydrogens, and then we have three at the end. So this is the expanded structural formula for pentane. And again, the name tells you what's going on. So we've got pent, which means five, and A and E tells you it is an alkane, all carbon-carbon single bonds. As I mentioned, that's the expanded structural formula. You can also write it as a condensed structural formula where you group the hydrogens right next to it. So I'm writing the first carbon, and this carbon is bonding to three hydrogens. So I'm going to write a hydrogen next to it with a three to tell us that it's bonding to three hydrogens. And you just draw your bond um, to the next carbon, and that one's bonding to two hydrogens, so CH2. Same with the next two carbons in the row. And the last carbon is an end carbon, and it is bonding to three hydrogens, so it's a CH3 group. So that would be the condensed structural formula for pentane. You can also draw pentane as a line angle formula. And so it might look like that, where you have at every point, I'm just going to highlight them in red so you can see, here's one, two, three, four, five. Those are all the carbons that are present. And then there are also understood hydrogens to make um, each carbon have a total of four bonds. Remember that carbon has a tetrahedral arrangement around it when it has four single bonds. And so it ends up, when you have pentane, when you have uh, chains like that of hydrocarbons, they end up having that kind of zigzag structure to them, which is why the line angle is drawn that way. Um, so those are three different ways of, um, of writing out pentane. Okay, hydrocarbons can also form ring structures, and these ring structures are called cycloalkanes, where the name cyclo, that prefix, means ring, and then alkane is what we were just talking about. They have just carbon-carbon single bonds. Um, the, what, an example of a cycloalkane would be um, cyclohexane. The name is going to tell you the structure. So cyclo tells us it is a ring. Hex 
That prefix tells us that there are six carbons in it. And A and E tells us it's an alkane, all single bonds, single carbon-carbon bonds. So I'm going to draw that out. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And um, I have bonds in between all of those to form a ring. So since each carbon in that ring is bonding to two other carbons, they are going to then each bond to two hydrogens. So I will just um, quickly draw all those hydrogens to all of those carbons. So that would be the expanded structural formula for cyclohexane. I can draw the condensed by drawing the hydrogens right next to the carbon. When I do that, I like to draw my bonds between the carbons because that is where they are going. And then the hydrogens are bonding to the carbons. So on this side, I'm going to draw my hydrogens on the other side just to make it easier to draw the bonds between the carbons. So there is the condensed structural formula for cyclohexane. And um, you can do a line angle formula for it, which is a hexagon there. And that is also cyclohexane, another way to draw it. Um, the molecular formula, which just tells you how many carbons and hydrogens, it doesn't tell you structure, is C6 because it has six carbons in there. And because each of those carbons is bonding to two hydrogens in a ring structure, the um, molecular formula would be C6H12. So that is um, an example of a cyclo alkane and you can tell from that we're still using those prefixes as part of the naming system for these.